And a good day, everybody. Sean Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another rambling edition today. We're looking at Terrapin Brewery Luau uh, IPA. Uh, based, Terrapin Brewery based in Athens, Georgia. This is their uh, IPA with passion fruit, orange, and guava. So that is the flavor. Ba, 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 ba. A, a Hawaiian, an, an American IPA style, using some of the flavors of their prominent in the island of Hawaii, uh, guava, passion fruit, and orange. So, um, 6.7% ABV, 6.5% ABV, as I mentioned. Uh, the brewery is based in... Uh, uh, Athens, Georgia, Terrapin, best known for their recreational IPA as well as their High Five IPA. Uh, the recreational IPA or recreational pale ale, excuse me, I should say, very, 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 very frothy, very foamy. If you ever had a chance to have that, I've had it on several occasions, and it's probably one of the most foamiest beers I've ever had, literally. So. Here's what the beer looks like. So, well, immediately the head is quite gone, immediately on this beer, so. Definitely getting a sense of the your traditional IPA flavors or hops that would be Mosaic, Cascade, Centennial hops. Um, that's kind of the scent I'm getting right now. But definitely you scent smell of the guava. More of the guava than anything I'm getting. Love the candy. Sorry. Love the can design. Pretty, pretty neat how this can looks. You get a chance to see it right there. Really a nice looking can. Beautiful, warm, sunny day here. Uh, here in the uh, Mobile area. Extremely warm. Mm. I don't know why they said the website crunkles. I don't know what that means. I was going to go with the Terrapin website, but, you know, it keeps saying crunkles. Crunkles.com. I don't know why. Chronicles is back with another world renowned IPA. Uh, I don't know what that is, what that means, if that's. Or maybe that's just a new name. Follow the ever changing adventures of Chronicles with, this, with his creative IPAs from around the globe. I, I guess who he is, I don't know. I don't know who he or she is, whoever the brewery is, so I don't know. Nice, very fruity, very very smooth, very tasty. That's sort of like an orange juice look to it, as you can see. Um, I've seen these IPAs. I've seen these flavor IPAs. I mean, you have your traditional citrus, grapefruit, citrus flavors, whether it be grapefruit, orange, in this in this IPA immediately. But overall, more of that fruit flavor, more of that very sweet passion fruit flavor. And guava flavor is really more covering, more as more present than the traditional flavors that you get with that citrus and very sour, the grapefruit, orange, tangerine feel on this IPA. Um,
yeah, I mean, whoever puts this together did a pretty bang up job on this. I mean, this is not bad at all. Um, I think this is quite good. Um, as I mentioned, Terrapin, uh, based in, as I said, Athens, Georgia, high five. Uh, they are recreational. Um, they do some other beers, and again, uh, you look at the state as a whole of, of, of great craft beers within here in the southeast region, them, uh, you know, here in the state of Alabama with all our breweries, uh, Athens, of course, and then you have, uh, you know, good people, but not good people, uh, you have uh, Sweetwater uh, and a few other breweries in the state of Georgia, so... Um, Again, very good beer brews are being put out there. Um, yeah, you again. There's a couple of IPAs I've had, not from this brewery, but from other breweries that have been very more fruit flavored oriented. Now, I don't know if this would be considered a New England style IPA. I don't think it is. I just think it's a, they were just being creative, using some of the flavors of the that are very prominent everywhere, more so in the in these tropical islands like the island of Hawaii, I'm sure, Brazil, overseas, and I'm sure in other places. Passion fruit, oranges, guava, 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 pronunciation, that are quite popular. So I decided to infuse all those flavors together and, and give it a, um, make this beer. Now, I see in the top of the can says, where in the world is Crunkles? Now, I don't know, it's kind of similar to the where in the world is uh, Carmen San Diego or who is Crunkles. I guess it's some sort of adventure or thing they're doing. You can probably go on the website, you probably can see that. But anyway, of the Terrapin website. But anyway, um, won't go on, on about this. I think this is a very enjoyable, nice, clean, easy drinking IPA. Quite good. Probably This is probably more like an limited release. Maybe, uh, maybe it's available year round. I, I I doubt that, but I'm thinking it's in limited release. So, uh, so I'm gonna go with score of a A on this one. So this is very good. The flavors there, everything is all there in this. So there you go. A plus score for me for the Crunkles IPA uh, for the Terrapin Luau IPA Passion Fruit guava, and orange by our friends at Terrapin Brewery. So an A score, so that would be a 9.1 score for me. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble team. Keep on watching. Always cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Live, laugh, and love. Luau, luau, luau. Yeah.